So back on August 8th, I made a video explaining how in 365 days, I wanted to quit my job. My goal is to become a full-time reseller and YouTuber during that time. So I have a lot of work to do, but this is an update on my journey. I'll talk to you guys about all the platforms I'm selling on, the new platform that I just joined uh, a few weeks ago, and give you guys some updates. I really want to reach this goal, and I want to document it the entire way so you guys can see what I go through. Okay, so last time I was with you guys, I was talking about how my eBay account was in a below standard uh, seller level. I'm not going to go over how I got to that point, guys. I already made a video on that. If you're interested in that story, I'll put a link down in the description and you can go check that out. So I just got reevaluated on September 20th and I am still below standard as far as my seller level is considered, but the numbers have gotten a little bit better. In the last video, my transaction defect rate was over 5%. It is now 4.90%. Small improvement, but it is an improvement. My late shipment rating was over 22% and now is at 21.51%. So basically how this works, these instances of these late shipments are on a revolving calendar. So let's say from September 20th to October 20th of 2023, I had two late shipments, right? So during this next time period uh, until October 20th, they will fall off that calendar. They only last for like 365 days. So my next evaluation will be better. The percentage will drop. I don't think that'll get us out of a below standard rating, but I think eBay can see that I am doing better and I'm more active now. So they're keeping on letting me sell. So it's kind of tough being in the below standard seller level because what happens is they don't advertise your store as much. They don't push your listing as much. They don't show up in searches as much. So you really have to kind of think outside the box. You have to price things to sell them basically, right? And I haven't done that yet. Now I do sell on eBay, I sell on Poshmark, and I sell on Depop. I've just recently joined Mercari, especially hearing that there are no seller fees anymore uh, for the seller. Like you get every bit of what you sell. That was very attractive to me. So I decided to join to give it a shot. We'll go over that in a minute to show you how that's going. And we'll talk about Mercari once we get there. But first, let's go over eBay. And since my last video, I'm going to show you guys some sales that I've made and show you how things are going. Now, I believe last video, I was somewhere around 75 or 80 items that I had listed again. Again, in two of my last videos, I talk about how I pretty much had to start over and why. Those videos will be in the description again if you want to go check those out. I'm not going to go over that again, but I do have to relist everything that I have for sale again. That means take the pictures, do the listings, everything again. It's like it's been a pain, but we're getting there. We're up to 232 items since last video. To be honest, it probably could have been more, but I got a lot going on, so it just didn't happen as quick as I wanted it to. Now, if we look at the sales chart for the past 31 days, I've made $123.94 in sales. So that's not a lot, but I've just recently hit like 230 plus items. As I put more stuff in my store, the more that's going to increase, hopefully. But it is uh, an increase of 8.9% in sales from the previous 31 days. So that's good. Now, just to go over a few of these sales, if you're interested in seeing what I'm selling. So this is a vintage hat and it just says, just do me, <laughs> right? It's a parody of a Nike, just do it. So that's kind of how I listed it. Vintage 90s Nike parody hat and it sold for $14.99 and the buyer paid shipping. Next is another vintage hat. It's a vintage 80s GM parts, uh, good wrench racing hat. And this came from a whole lot that I, if you actually look at one of my videos I posted from last year when I posted a video buying from a full-time reseller. That was a friend of mine and he had a bunch of stuff that he had gotten from somebody and he wasn't going to mess with it. So I just bought all the stuff from him. This hat was in that lot as $24.99 for it, got full asking price for it and the buyer paid shipping. Next, I've had this shirt for quite a while, but it is a vintage 90s Izod, not Izod Lacoste, but just plain Izod plaid shirt, long sleeve shirt. It's about to get fall weather here real soon. So uh, this sold for $14.99 and the buyer pays shipping. Next is a vintage t-shirt. And the way we tell it's vintage is from the tag right here. Study your tags if you want to learn more vintage. A lot of it has to do with the tags. This one just says birds of a feather. I thought it was pretty cool. I've had it for a while. I've priced this all over the place. Finally settled on a $14.99 price and the buyer paid full price and paid shipping. So this was interesting. This is a lot of old watches that I had. 
I got these from my mother when she passed away a few years ago and they've just been sitting, you know, they're not sentimental or anything like that. So I put them in a lot and I did an auction, started the auction at 99 cents and they sold for 1050 plus 487 shipping. I know that's not a lot, but it is something that's kind of getting me back into good standings for my eBay store. I will almost take anything at this point if it's just not ridiculous because I need to make sales and I need to prove I'm going to be a good eBay reseller again. Next is another hat that was in that lot of hats I just talked about. This is a vintage 80s Arkansas Razorbacks hat. It says snapback trucker hat. These are really popular. People love these. And it sold for $24.99 full asking price in the buyer plate shipping. Next is a vintage Florida Marlins t-shirt from 1997. This is from the first time they made the playoffs in Major League Baseball after becoming an expansion team in like 1994, 95. So this was a really cool shirt. I'm surprised I had this shirt for as long as I did, but someone finally made me an offer. I think it made me an offer of like 18 or $19 and I accepted it and they paid shipping. So I was glad to get this one out of here. All right, now we're going to go to Depop, guys. That was eBay. It's starting to look better. I'm hoping to get to top seller status again. That's what I want to do. So eBay will go much more fluently and my listings will get pushed out more and the sales will come a bit easier. But on to my next platform that I'm selling on and it's Depop. And here we are at our seller dashboard. And oh, look, I have a an offer to review. Actually, I've not seen this. It hasn't even come through on my phone. We'll do it live, I guess. Let's review the offer. $19.99. This is a brand new hat. It's never been worn and it's only been listed for a few days. $12. I'm not accepting this offer right now. I'm going to let this ride and see if somebody will pay full price. So I'm not even going to counter because I don't think they'll, I just want $19.99 for it. So I'm not going to do it. So I'm just going to decline it. So I mean, this hat was like $35 brand new. It was my own personal hat. I didn't like the way it fit in my head. So I'm selling it now for like $15 off. All right. So Depop doesn't let me go to the page. It doesn't hold the listing. It doesn't let me go to the page of the listing so I can show you close up pictures. So we'll just do the best we can here, right? So this is a Memphis Grizzlies t-shirt that I had. Um, actually, I had a friend last year that was selling a bunch of clothes and he needed some money. He knew what I was doing. He had a bunch of sports clothes, you know, his favorite teams and stuff like that. And so I gave him some money. He had some band t-shirts and some other stuff. So I gave him some money and he gave me some clothes and I've sold a lot of it. I sold mostly everything that he gave me. So it was good stuff. So I had this shirt. Uh, it's a Memphis Grizzlies Mark Gasol shirt uh, on Bill Street. I had it on sale for $12.99. They bought it full asking price. There's a Depop fee that it takes, the payment fee, and a total of $10.56 is what Depop paid me. Next is this vintage 90s Athletic Pro Green Bay Packers hat with the diamond stuff on it. Uh, I'll see if I can get a better picture of that over here, but like with the diamond, like the diamonds on the top of the hat. Uh, I had it on sale for, I think, $50. Or maybe sixty. I had it on. I had it on sale for fifty nine ninety nine. That's what I was selling it for. But somebody made me an offer of forty dollars. I went ahead and took it. So there is the payment fee, and then thirty seven eighty seven is what Depop paid me. So pretty good sell there. Next, this is a hat. It's a mellow yellow racing hat uh, from the nineties. It was in pretty bad condition, so I sold it for cheap, and it sold pretty quick, which lets me know somebody probably didn't care that it was in the condition it was. So I only sold it for $5.99. There actually are a lot of this hat too. And none are really selling for more than like $15, $15, $20. And all of those hats are in great condition. So this one's in bad condition. So I sold it for $5.99. I ended up getting paid $5.11 for this hat. And then here's an interesting shirt. This is a, a vintage shirt from the 90s. It's a Mid-South Native Plant Conference shirt. <laughs> you know, I... I didn't grab it for the subject matter. I grabbed it just because it was vintage, right? And it was based out of Memphis, Tennessee. And I think I had this on sale for $24.99. Somebody made me an offer of $17.80 and I accepted it. So this one right here was set for manual shipping, which was kind of a mistake on my part. Depop has its own shipping service. So I like to use that, but this one for some reason was set as manual shipping. So what I got was $20.31. That was what... I was paid plus the shipping price that they paid, but I had to go to PayPal and create my own shipping label so I could ship this out. So it subtract that. I don't remember how much it was. Subtract that from that price. And that's how much I got paid for this particular item. All right, guys. Well, that was Depop. So let's move on to Poshmark. All right. So we're not going to spend a lot of time on Poshmark, but here's Poshmark because I've only sold two items since I started this journey of becoming a full-time reseller. 
I sold two items. I sold this vintage Sammy Kershaw concert t-shirt right here for $9. I think I had it on sale for $14.99. That t-shirt, I've had it for a long time. Couldn't sell it for $15. So somebody offered me $9 for it and I took it. And then I sold a vintage 90s blank Fruit of the Loom t-shirt for $8. I think I normally keep these on sale for $14.99. But in my experience, even when I was reselling again last year a lot, the vintage blanks just don't sell like they used to. I used to could sell those things for, you know, $25 a piece. And it, that just doesn't seem to be happening anymore. So, you know, the ones that I have right now, I just need to get rid of and I probably won't be buying blanks anymore. So here we are at Mercari. Now, Mercari is the new platform I joined just a week and a half ago or so, right? I'm capped at 100 listings right now. New, new accounts get capped at 100 listings. And then you make your first sale and you're still capped at 100, 100 listings. Then when you make your second sale and it's completed, that means purchase, shipment, they rate you, you rate them, and then the money gets released. That is counted as a completed sale. So after my second completed sale, which I have one order in progress right now, I have one completed sale, one order in progress. This will bump up to 200 listings once that sale is completed. And then your third sale will bump up to 300, fourth, 400, fifth, 500, and then so on up to 20 sales. And you'll be able to list 2000 items, which I was told by the support that is your cap. But I have seen stores who have more than 2000 items in their store. So I'm curious about that. Just to show you what I sold, Mercari does let you go back to the old listing. This is a listing. It is a John ja Morant Memphis Grizzlies t-shirt. This came from the lot of clothes that I bought from my friend that I just told you about. Couldn't sell this shirt. Couldn't sell this shirt. Couldn't sell this shirt. Finally took an offer of $9.75 just to get that first sale and to get it out of here. And the sale that is currently in progress is a uh, vintage 90s Olympics uh, track and field Atlanta, Georgia t-shirt from uh, 1996. Well, the Olympics were in 1996, but this shirt was actually printed in 1992. So I listed it for $24.99, buyer paid full asking price and paid shipping. So I'm just waiting on that to complete so I can bump my sales up to 200 and start listing again. So speaking of listing again, I am using a website called List Perfectly. I know a lot of you probably have heard of this. I just recently found it out. I started using it. It's amazing. It allowed me to combine all of my listings from the three platforms I was on before I joined Mercari, list them all and cross list them all with just a few clicks. It's been amazing, I love it. So here you can see all of my listings and you can see I've been very choosy about what I put on Mercari and what not because I can only do a hundred listings, but it's very easy. It shows you what all platforms they're on. And then when you sell it, you go in and mark it as sold and it will end everything for you end all the listings on the other platforms for you and then it'll show you what it's sold on. So I'm really excited about this. It makes it very easy. And so that is how I'm doing my listings across all four platforms. It saves a lot of time. Okay guys, so that's the journey since the last time you heard from me. It's going kind of slow. I'm about to ramp it up this month. Uh, this time next month, I'm hoping to have over 400 items, maybe close to 500 items in all four stores. That's the goal. That's what I'm hoping. I'm not sourcing anything else until I get everything here listed and inventoried and stored because this journey is going to take me, like I said in my, in my video of wanting to quit my job, I'm going to need like 3000 items in my store. That's just the number I think I, I need to make a living uh, based on the salary that I make now with my, my career job. I think that's the number that I need to be in that ballpark to be able to do this full time. So 3,000 items is a long way to go. It can be done though. It can be done. I appreciate you guys joining me. I'd love to hear your comments, see what you think. If you have any tips or advice for me, I'd love to hear that. And I'd also love to hear your stories of becoming a full-time reseller if that's something you did. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and come back for more of this journey. We'll see you in the next video. Take care.